Hey, and welcome to section four. As far as sections go, you're already halfway through this course. I'm hoping that you're enjoying what I'm covering and that you're able to put this into practical use. Don't forget when you're done with this lesson or when you're done with this course to please leave feedback and comments. That way I know what's working as well as what I need to maybe change for future versions of this course. So in this section, we're going to talk about data. We're going to talk about how to back up your data. We're going to talk about how to encrypt your data. And we're going to talk about how to destroy your data. Now, let's first talk about backing up your information, backing up what's on your hard drive. Now, in the old days, working on a computer, it was worthwhile. And what I mean by that is when computers first came out, when we had the 386s and the 486s and the Pentium computers back in the day, the computers themselves were very expensive. The components were very expensive. And so computer repair could get pretty costly and it was still worth it because the cost of a new computer was even more expensive. Nowadays, when the price of computers have come down so dramatically, it's it, it gets to a point where it's not even worth repairing a computer and it's better off just buying a new computer, especially as they get more and more advanced. Because if you have a computer that's say two, three years old, you can only wanna drop so much money in it because a newer computer that's much more advanced might not be that much more as far as the difference between expense for repair and just buying a new one. Now saying that, data is always priceless. For example, I have on my hard drive, on my data, I have pictures of both my children being born. At the recording of this video, my oldest is 10, my youngest just turned eight last weekend. And I can never replace those pictures. And so those pictures to me are worth more than any computer I'll ever have or ever had. And I can't lose those. And so data, those pictures, those memories, uh, tax information, financial information, um, educational information, these are things that I can never, ever, ever lose. These are the most important thing as far as my computer goes. Now, here comes the funny part. And I mean funny as in, ooh, no. The computer itself is a relatively stable device. In fact, desktop computers are estimated to last about five years. Laptops are good between two to three years. The most likely component that's going to fail in your computer, the part that's most likely to die, is the hard drive. And in the world of computers, hard drives fail. And it's never a question of if they will fail. The question is always when they will fail. The hard drive is, of all the other components in your computer, the single item most likely to die. And I just said, data is your most important asset on the computer. So here we have a computer with the most important part of the computer is the most vulnerable. So we have to back up our data, okay? Or you will lose the data. So backing up is incredibly important. Now there are three basic types of backup. And don't worry if, if this kind of sounds too geeky. We're gonna get actually into how to do this from a practical point of view, but I wanna introduce some technical terms. So if you hear them, you will at least have an idea of what we're talking about here. The first type of backup is known as a full backup. And in this type of backup, we copy everything on the computer, everything. You, you back up the entire computer. Now, this ensures that you have all your data, but it's also one of the longest backup types that you can run into because it's backing up every single thing. And incremental backup stores the changed files since the last backup. Now, this is not the best solution for the average home user, so chances are you're not going to do this. This is more in a corporate environment. And the third type of backup is called the differential backup. This stores all files that have changed since your last backup. And so as a home user, you're either going to use a full backup or a differential backup. So how do you even do the backup? Well, if you're on Windows, you need to do the following. You need to click on your Start button, go to your Control Panel, click System and Maintenance, and then look at the Backup and Restore option. This is Windows version of Backup. Now, this is not what I would say is the most preferred method of backing up your computer. In fact, I'll talk about the preferred method in just a second. This is just Windows built-in method of backing up. And before I talk about how I would recommend backing up, I need to introduce another concept, which is off-site. Here I am in my little home studio. And my computer's sitting right here. And behind my computer is an external hard drive. So I can make backups off my desktop 
to my external hard drive behind the computer. And so if anything happens to my desktop computer, I have backup copies on the hard drive behind it. But let's say, God forbid, there is a fire or some other natural disaster. You know, we're in Houston, we get hit by hurricanes. So let's say, God forbid, my house is completely destroyed. My computer's destroyed, everything's destroyed. Well, the external hard drive is sitting right behind my desktop. And so anything that would really destroy this desktop would destroy the external hard drive behind it. So when we're talking about off-site storage, we're talking about the fact that you don't store your information in the same location as the original computer. You, you keep the backup somewhere else. And this is really what we're talking about when we're talking about backing up. This is the core of backing up. In fact, off-site storage is done by a lot of corporations, governments, schools, because they can't afford to lose that information. So here is how, or here is what I would suggest using for online backup. And these are, uh, it's becoming a lot easier. A lot of this is handled for you automatically. Most of these, if not all of them, come with a monthly fee. Now, it's not very expensive. Competition has really driven the price down in all of these. And all of these have really good reputations as far as being an online data backup company. The first one is Backblaze. The next one is Carbonite, Mosey, and iDrive. Now, I'm not presenting them in any specific order, but these all have good reputations. And so if I was looking for an online data backup company, I would research each of these. You want to see how much information they'll store for you, as well as how much of a monthly premium they're going to charge you. Now, a lot of these are, all of them are fairly safe to use. A lot of them offer you encryption. We'll talk about encryption actually in the next video. They offer online encryption, they protect your data, and so that way, if anything bad happens to your computer, you have a copy somewhere that you can access. Now, personally, I like to use another service, and this one's called Dropbox. Dropbox is not exactly an official online data backup. It's not really an online data backup so much as just cloud storage, and there's a, a minor distinction here for consumer purposes. Carbonite backs up your information. You, you, it makes automatic backups. It stores the backups online on a cloud. Dropbox acts as a folder, a relatively huge folder. In fact, I have a terabyte worth of space for it's like nine something a month or 15 something a month. And it just acts like a regular folder. It acts like a folder online somewhere. So I can store images, videos. For me, I have to store a lot of videos because of what I do. And I just put them there. It acts just like a regular folder on my computer. So if you get nothing else out of this presentation, understand the following. One, your hard drive will die. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Two, you need to back up your information. And three, you need to back up your information somewhere else besides where your computer's at. You need to go off-site and use any of these services for that off-site backup. All right, in our next video, we're going to take a look at encryption.